Hello everyone! I am here with Tony Hi. and Whitney Lawrenson. And we're here at the Natural Foods Co-op. What are we going to do? We're going to pick our favorites, probably three to five, uh, our favorite new vegan products. And we're going to go to my place and taste test them. We are back at Tony's house and we've prepped all of our food and goodies that we got from the natural food store to taste test. There were a lot of good vegan options, but sometimes I get overwhelmed by, um, by food when there are a lot of things I can eat. So I was having a hard time just finding a few that really stood out to me because when you go and they're like, five different ranches. I'm like, oh gosh, which one is the one? Okay, let me just go to the next aisle because I don't, I like, I can't make my decision. And so I felt like, what do I get? Well, That's we so did relatable. find things because we got 13 things. Yes, we ended up finding things. Cool. All right, so should we dig in? Yeah, yeah. and heads up. Okay, so Whitney is keto vegan. She's doing keto right now and also wrote the book on it. So we'll link yeah. that. <laughs> so um, we tried so we to find some, some keto, keto stuff. things. Tony and I have barely an idea of what that even means. So this is new She's to been us. She's so, so Supported. patient. <laughs> well, I was telling Michelle, I feel like one of those um, like omnivores who, who's like, what, what do you do with this vegan diet that you do? Like, can you eat beans? Is Wait, can you explain what keto is? Just sure. in brief. So it's low carb, moderate protein, high fat. Okay. So generally you're eating vegetables, nuts, seeds, berries, um, various other things. And um, you can look at the label, but certain things like these will say keto right on them. And then you also want to check and see if it's vegan. So there's a ton of packaged keto foods now, but it's, the vegan options are a little less, of course. Right. But it's becoming more and more common. Like, this is brand new. I've never tried this. This is the thing I'm most excited Let's to try. Do it! Yeah. A lot of the. Do you um, want to put like one of the cheeses on this? Yeah, like nut based cheeses tend to be keto. And also, I'm not super strict, so you'll see me trying things today that aren't keto. That doesn't mean that they are. So don't mistake this as like a keto tutorial. Okay. But um, yeah, so what do you think? First impressions. I've never tried this. <laughs> Tastes like a tortilla. It's almond. Yeah, what's the difference? Almond flour and psyllium husk. Tapioca. And tapioca. I like that it's pliable. Coconut flour. Mm -hmm. you can this is seeds. really good. It doesn't break. Mm -hmm. Let's try it with this cheese. It's really good. I like that. So a lot of the nut-based, like cashews, almonds, most seeds, like almost any nut is going to be keto-friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so this is really interesting. This brand also had a blue cheese. Right. And some other cheeses. Yeah. This is their unbelievable, mm. which is adorable. Ooh, that's vegan a good reaction. Like fermented it. cashew product. You know, cracker on it. Here we go. Mm. I just love cashew cheese. The first this ingredient is, really is organic cashews and coconut oil, coconut milk, quinoa rejuvelac. Interesting. Ooh. Fermented oregano extract. I mean, you getting fancy here, but their packaging is super beautiful. It's labeled vegan. I've never seen this in stores before, but again, that's if you go to your natural food stores, a lot of times you'll find really cool gems there that aren't widely available. Also, um, beware if we're like shoveling food in our face, we have not eaten lunch. <laughs> yeah. And so we're, we've been eyeing these snacks for a little bit. Yeah. That's really good, very flavorful. Mm. And it makes me want to try a drink next. It's salty. Oh yeah. So we have two drink options. What should we begin with? Mmm. Hi, roll. All right. I'm really excited about this because I love drinks in general, but rose is one of my favorite flavors of all time. So when I heard that this is an original sparkling rose beverage. Is it your favorite flavor or scent? Or are you like both? Because it's very different. Like, I will wear it as a perfume. I will eat, I will drink it. Mm -hmm. I'll have it in chocolate. Like anything rose get, gets my attention. So I am a huge LaCroix lover. LaCroix. Um, oh, I've never seen it out so of the pretty. Yeah. It's pink. Cheers. Cheers. That's really pretty. That's beautiful. Mm. It smells like a flower. It smells so like good. Straight giant rose. If you like floral scent, 
floral flavors like this. This is I yeah. love it. Yeah. You I do? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, awesome. It's is it sweetened? Mm-hmm. It's a little bit of a okay. just a little as okay. okay. But I what like I thought was cool, agave. since I look at labels a lot, it has four carbs in it, four grams What's of carbs. What's normal? It all depends. It depends on the meal, the, the mm. thing that you're having. Um, so this is actually pretty low in sugar. It only has three grams of sugar in it. That's really cool. Um, mm -hmm. The packaging is freaking stunning. Mm -hmm. And they have a lot of cool different floral flavors. Um, I think you can order them online. I'm not sure if they're available in stores yet, but that's that's really cool. And look at this beautiful art. So cool. Yay, Petal. I'll leave this over here so you can have more. Mm. I've never had this mac and cheese. I don't oh, yeah. the box. The box is okay. Oh, I'll look at it. Michelle, can I see the, box. the brie box? Yeah. I'm gonna look at the ingredients. I think this is so good. The more I have this, the more impressive I, it is. I will say, so far, when I was mixing the mac and cheese together, I did not love the smell. Okay. Mm -hmm. I liked the smell of it. I've had it before. Tony said I it smelled it's... like diapers, but as a parent of a one and a half year old, I can attest it does not. <laughs> <laughs> this is... I, okay, so I one time I was, make, I was making a, um, <clears throat> I was making a this is nice mac and cheese, a box mac and cheese. Not this kind. This is the kind that you squeeze the cheese in. Mm -hmm. I was making the kind that had the powder and the butter and the milk. And my husband walked by and he was like, what, are you cooking feces? Like, what does that smell? Uh, and I, you know which brand I'm talking about, but uh, I won't say the name. Anyway. My dog wouldn't even eat it. It doesn't, eats everything. it doesn't smell oh. like that. This doesn't smell I'm gonna like guess that. what brand, no, not out loud, but in my you head. You can guess, you can guess. I won't, I won't confirm. Okay, no, I won't confirm. We won't, we confirm, won't, we won't okay. confirm or do <laughs> Um, okay, but, but see, some of those, even though I don't love them, I still like, on some level, I'm like, okay, this it's is edible. It's nostalgic, too, because the, yes. like the original mac and cheese is before there were, like, yeah. these. Okay, so this is using regular pasta, semolina pasta, which is what is in normal pasta. The ingredients, this is actually awesome. Water, cashews, nutritional yeast, salt, lemon juice, cornstarch, vegan lactic acid, and a couple other, like, Guar gum type things and garlic, so really simple, pretty clean. Um, let's see, what do you think? That's good. Better than it smells. Mm -hmm. It's it, it's very tangy. It tastes a lemon, yeah. It's tangy. It's, it's good. Super tangy. Can it's I see really it again? I wonder if it's changed because I tried this. Can you lick the cheese ago. off? <laughs> I could actually. That's what I did when I got a box of this. Is I just used my own pasta and put the cheese sauce. We'll on give it. you a little like spitting cup. Yeah. <laughs> but see, it's like I'm not that strict, so I would I have a little taste just to remember what it's like. I think it's actually quite good. I like it. They have the Chipotle one too. Was mm -hmm. that at the store? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. wow. I just opened the hop tea. Do you mm -hmm. want to try some? You're not gonna yeah. try it, right? Because you don't like the flavor of hops. I don't Did know what hops taste like, but. Okay, can I tell you a hop story? Can I smell really it? Yeah, it smells kind of like beer. One time, I was at a, a little brewery spot in Berkeley with Dan and his friends, and I was looking on the wall and I was like, oh my God, there's such beautiful artichoke art all over the walls. Because artichokes look like hops. Oh, I didn't know that. You, I have no idea what they like, look like. Is it on this? No. Yeah, I don't if you know. look up hops, it looks like artichokes. If you see things that look like artichokes oh. all over, like beer things, those are hops. Next, we're going to eat this wild uh, creamery like ranch tea, dip. By the way. And it's from Wild Rhine. I have been looking for a good ranch. And the guy at the store, when he saw me checking out, he mentioned that this is super good however it's not good for parties because it separates mm. and if you have it sitting out for too long you'll have to come and mix it every so often okay so that's good to note we need to get you more tortilla well i was what if we try dipping those term, those turmeric tri crisps in there oh yeah well we could show that that could be a good we're going in every right? order so these are turmeric crisps from vegan rob's so it's like pringles right Full mm -hmm. experience. Yep. Yeah. So these would not be considered keto either, but if you do the math, it's not so bad. So that's what you can do is you you learn how to like 
read and then like divide the Because it's potato, not wheat, at least. Yeah, potatoes generally are not keto, but all in moderation. Okay. And here's the thing, this is my big philosophy. A lot of people are, are not into the keto lifestyle because it feels too restrictive. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a fan of restrictive eating in, in a, like a unhealthy way. Was that a... Try it, try it, try it. She's, we're getting the Tony seal of approval. Mmm. That's good. That's very good. That's really good. It has to be stirred. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. It's it's uh, around the edges. It's liquidy, and in the middle, it's firmer. It doesn't. Did look you try this? Did mm -hmm. you? Is that what you dipped in? No, I'm gonna try it. I love vegan robs. Let's see. Uh, so this has turmeric, black pepper, and nooch. I just love a Pringle-shaped chip. I never got, I wasn't allowed to eat chips when I was younger or unhealthy foods. And so there were a couple times when like friends would have things of Pringles and I would get a few. But now that I can be a adult and be like, I got my whole case of Pringles, it's exciting. It's just a slight taste of turmeric. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it hits the throat with a spice, turmeric spice. I like those, it's good. It tastes just like salt and pepper chips with a hint of turmeric. Mm. Okay, well, we gotta try the other cheeses, but also we have these tots that are hot. So which one should we do first? Okay, these are the Rolling Greens Ancient Grains Tots. And I've seen these at the co-op for a long time, but they rebranded, so I didn't notice they were the same, but I was like, this just looks interesting. Organic sweet potato and poblano chili. Uh, and it, the first ingredient is organic millet. Sweet potato, poblano chili, garlic, <clears throat> jalapeno, sea salt, cane sugar, jalapeno powder, and sunflower oil. So clean this ingredients you can possibly get. They look like little nuggets. I think they would be good with this. They also yeah. have some that didn't have chili peppers in, because I was looking, I'm always think, looking for toddler snacks that are healthy, but easy and yummy. And if they had versions without the chili peppers. That's there. Eddie. Or try for gram. Mmm. Mm. Those are very satisfying. I like those. I like the chili. And they're not hot at this point, mm -hmm. but if they were hot, mm -hmm. I wow. like the spice. That was much better than I thought. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. I've never had the chili one. It's so good. Oh. That's good. Mmm. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna get that. Mm -hmm. We're flying. Oh my god, this is the fastest one we've ever done because we actually have a table. We're all hungry. We can see all the food. We can reach all the food, and we're all hungry. Well, I wonder if it would taste good with the goat cheese. Like, do you think that'd be a good combo? I don't try it. I've never had goat cheese. I haven't either. I have. So, and I'm always on the hunt for some for a vegan goat cheese that'll work. Right. I think I've great. had this before. It's called so Sparrow. Sparrow. To have it again. Mm -hmm. I've seen them on the internet, but do they have CBD Whoa. dog treats? I'm so curious what you guys are gonna think because it okay. actually does have that intensity. Can I dip a goat. this in there? Jeez. Yeah. Okay. Or do I want this? Okay, I'll do it. Wow. I have to say I don't like the aftertaste, but I like the first wave of flavor. The aftertaste is a little interesting. It's so salty. I got that that different. I, I also have not goat cheese, but the it's, first thing I put, I was like, that's what I would imagine yeah. goat cheese would taste like. Goat cheese taste how it smells. So if you ever smelt goat cheese, that's basically what the taste is like. It's making it less appetizing for me. <laughs> it's kind of like, yeah, there's a lot of foods that don't, like fish. Mm -hmm. People will smell fish and be like, mmm. Yeah, I, I smell fish like... and I'm like, oh, <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, what do you think? It's okay. I think if I like goat cheese, and that was like it, that's exciting. It's almost too real for me. Mm -hmm. I, I actually really like it. Let me see, because this is made from sunflower seeds, right? Mm, I think it? that's that. that I like taste that, that now. That's like, really cool. Like that. It's very salty. I feel like, okay, on a cracker with some sort of like tomato or vegetable or something to cut the Yeah, salt. sunflower really seeds, good. water, coconut oil flavors. It's very simple. Yeah. And it says that it's more eco-friendly, 96% less water and 99% less CO2 than nuts and dairy. Hmm. 
So well, um, sunflower seeds are the least expensive seed or nut, right? Yes. We use them in our meal plan all the time for that reason. But our, this product is kind of pricey though. How much was it? <laughs> mm, I feel like it's seven dollars eight. This is ironic. Right. <laughs> ironic, but I think it's all organic. Is it? Where they use organic sunflower seeds? Yeah, I really like this. Mm. Will you pass me a tortilla? I wonder what they yeah. taste like when they're not heated up. You have yeah, to we do pum -fu. Pum -fu too. Mm -hmm. And this new vegan turkey that I've never seen before. We're gonna have sandwiches here. afterward. Okay, but now can we just dig in with like yeah, a knife? Yeah, I'm just okay. telling them. <laughs> We're gonna have some sandwiches. I'm super excited about that. Pum -fu is like a tofu made from pumpkin seeds. From pumpkin seeds. It's organic. I heard this like come onto the scene a couple years ago, maybe. Whitney's tried it before. Mm -hmm. I've never tried it. it. This was one of my favorite products when I at the Natural Products Expo. It looks like a green block of Cookies. like a smaller brand natural tofu. <laughs> okay, let's just use our. And they have different flavors. Too. They have a sausage. They have a chorizo. But I think this is the best of all of them. Okay. Let's just knife into it like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Looks kind of like tofu. Okay. So I guess are you supposed to cook it? You can, but it's just like tofu in that you can eat it. Okay. Plain. It says I eat a lot of plain tofu. It's soy free, so if you can't have soy but you want tofu, good option. Mm -hmm. um, it's gluten free, incredibly versatile. You can use it for barbecue, stir fries, curry, scrambles, and so much more. It can be marinated, grilled, sauteed, baked, and even air fried. My personal fave. Yes. I haven't tried it in the air fryer, I don't think. Hmm. I actually like that. It's different. It is different. Do you like pumpkin seeds in general? Yeah. I'm trying to think if I just closed my eyes and ate it, if I would know it was not tofu. I would oh. think it's like kind of weird tofu. Yeah, I like it's it. very tofu. -esque. I like it. I think it's better than the hemp, the hemp tofu. Did you ever try that? that. Mm -mm. That was a little strange. I don't know if they still make it, but. Okay, well, the fact that I like it plain is saying something because if it's marinated, it's gonna be even more. Does it marinate mm -hmm. well? Mm -hmm. Marinate? Yeah, well. you can do. It's tougher than tofu. Like, it's like for extra firm tofu. I feel like I could just eat that straight block. Also, mm -hmm. they had other types. They had sloppy joe, chorizo crumble, and sausage crumble, all made from that yeah. pumpkin seed base. And this is super keto friendly, like it's uh, very low carb. The only ingredients are pumpkin seeds and filtered water. That's mind blowing. How do they do it? That's magic. Foodies, mm -hmm. way to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's awesome. Paul likes that. And really? a really mm -hmm. nice brand too. Yeah. Oh, hi. Cool. Oh wait, turkey. Oh gosh. So, have you had this one? I have None it. of us have had this It's one, interesting yeah. because Tofurky has owned the sliced turkey market mm -hmm. forever. Tofurky is like the only brand that I know of. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious to see if this competes. So far I'm thinking no. <laughs> Why? It's kind, of, it's kind of rubbery. I don't know, try one. It smells good. It smells kind of smoky. Mm -hmm. Does it smell good? Oh, no, up close it doesn't smell good. I have to say. Smells, I think it smells, smells like turkey. Feels a little, I don't know. Okay, I don't know how I love it. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's tougher like meat than tofurkey. It is. I think that's what I like about tofurkey. It's sliced so thin and that's how, like I used to not like meat and so I'd go for the really, really thin sliced stuff. Mm. This. Do you mind the smell though? It does I have do. A, I don't, I, it, it's it smells weird. like something that's not meat. It, it smells, smells like something like flowers. Or it smells like it went bad to me. I don't think it did. Wow, floral to me. <laughs> floral scented to uh, turkey. It's like a fermented smell. I think I'm stuck on the texture being my, like meat. Okay. So it's vital wheat gluten with olive oil, seasonings, salt, spices, rosemary. Super simple. This is what I think meat tastes okay, like. Okay, you're keeping my this head. one. <laughs> you're, the only, you're the only one who would love it. Not there. I don't think I would get that one again, to be honest. But I could see how people love meat might love it. I'm generally not a big meat lover, so I'm not the best judge. <laughs> I'm going into dessert. I became vegetarian, and then I ate a turkey sandwich because oh, yeah. I used to really love sliced turkey. Oh. I was a nanny, and I was getting free food, and I was making the kids a sandwich, and I was like, oh, and I regretted it. But we talked about that on our podcast. Mm -hmm. And what? What was the? Um, 
what happened afterwards? Like you regretted it, but you just didn't do it again? Or mm -hmm. Yeah, I've messed up many times as a, as human, a being. human being in general. And that was one of them. One of the first. Uh, and by mess up, I made a choice and decided I didn't want to make that choice again. Mm -hmm. And I felt comfortable just continuing on as a vegetarian after I ate my sandwich. Yeah. Was it, was it worth it? No, I think that that's what it was, was that I was like, not as, it's not what I wanted. Mm -hmm. You don't feel good afterwards. Yeah, I like, didn't feel like, this is a great idea. <laughs> I'm so glad I did that. I felt disappointed and then I went back to choosing vegetarian. Okay. So I agree now, about this, by the way, now that it's solidified, like I could see if this was at a party, I'd be like, it but then when you try so it, it's so really good. good. Okay, I'm gonna get all this stuff just like yeah. And then we have some cool dessert things. Oh yeah, I already opened this one. Oh yeah. So this I'm one is the undercover yes. chocolate quinoa crisps that Love are dark them. chocolate and they are very yummy. Oh, you, you already tried one? one? I've had it before. Oh, you have? Oh, okay, so have I. I tried it then. Yeah, they have a, for, I think they have a dark chocolate peppermint one. They have a blueberry, they have an orange, they have a, a salted. But they also do seasonal ones. Oh, they do? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So. This looks awesome. It's like, it's like a really oh, yeah. good mm. Nestle Crunch Bar, but like much, much better. Mm. That's so right? great. Mm -hmm. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, only, nine, only 10 in the package. But they do yeah. say the UD for kosher dairy, right? And there's no dairy in it though, so I had to double check it. But they're like really good. It's probably their facility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, facility. They also make milk chocolate. They have a lot of little symbols. Mm -hmm. Woman owned, non-GMO, certified Rainforest Lion, certified nut free, and certified gluten free. And the ingredients list is really short. It's dark chocolate, pure which, which is cocoa beans, pure cane sugar, cocoa butter, sunflower. Did you trip up because you saw butter? What? Oh, I saw butter on there before and I was like, oh, I'm not vegan. Then I realized it said cocoa butter. Oh. <laughs> uh, and uh, quinoa and sea salt. Awesome. Those yep. are those yeah, are really yummy. Good. And I okay. wish there was more in a package, but I'm yeah. kind of glad that there aren't because mm -hmm. I took those on a road trip once and it was just like, I could have just eaten them. The whole ride. I feel like that's something that could end up at Costco with a bigger package. That's true. Yeah, you could be right. That well, be you can have this one. I'm not gonna have any because mm -hmm. I wanna. Okay. Try a little bit. So I saw this at the last minute at the co-op. I've never seen anything like this before. They have ozzarella in the cheese section, which I was tempted to try, but we didn't. This is their made from plants cheesecake. So. I've tried the day at cheesecake. That's the one you can usually find in stores pretty easily, but this is a new one to me. Neither of you guys have tried it. Mm -hmm. Not that I remember. I've tried the cheese before, but not the. And this is non-GMO, gluten-free, and vegan. Also, this is my uh, my wedding my it's wedding so uh, cake slicer, cake slicer, and it has my wedding date mm -hmm. and my last name. I think it might be frozen on the inside, but we'll give it. We'll we could always cut a slice and then maybe eat. Just, just sure. like, try it. Yep. Frozen. So they come frozen. Been out I guess for you're a while. supposed to thaw it. <laughs> for how long? <laughs> uh, five hours. Okay. Oh, it's been maybe an hour. And then plus five hours in the fridge and then 20 minutes. Interesting. Do not re- I wonder if I can stick it in like by the oven or something. I think. We just Wait, eat it. Can we try the food. outside? Yeah. And the bottom. <gasps> okay, with our spoon. That's such a pretty packaging. I'm just gonna try a little edge. Let's see. You wanna pick that piece? It's almost got a consistency like ice cream. <laughs> Cause Cause frozen. Sexy. And then like jello or something, or like uh, pudding. You know what I mean? I feel uncomfortable making a judgment because this isn't how it's meant to be eaten. Mm -hmm. It's very light. Mm. You know what we'll do? We'll try this later and I'll put on the screen how it was. Oh, good idea. The magic of video editing. But I feel like I'm gonna like done. it. Okay. 
What's that? Well, that's the last. Oh wait, was there? There was one more dessert, wasn't there? Hmm. We think not. Okay. I think we got everything. All right. Well, the camera's about to die. So <laughs> thank you all for joining us on this food venture. Wait, what was your favorite? Oh item? yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I like the brie. Brie is very good. I like. I mean, this was so the ranch. The wild, this wild creamer ranch dip was really good. I also like. Mm, I was really impressed by the tops. Yep. This would probably be my favorite because it's hard to find really good vegan keto yeah. items like this. So this is excellent. Yeah. You know what? I would say this might be our first food taste test where nothing was spit out. Like we liked everything, right? Was there anything we hated? Not really. Tony, you, didn't, you weren't chuffed about the mac and cheese and the turkey. <laughs> anyway, okay, camera's about to die. Thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to check out Whitney's podcast. This might get uncomfortable. It's one of my favorite things to listen to always. And there's a million episodes. So it's so good with Jason Robel. So check that out. We'll link it down below. Where else can people find you? WhitneyLauritson.com. Mm -hmm. If you need help with social media, she's your girl. <laughs> Not really social media. Yeah. Yeah, social media. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me at plantbasedonabudget.com, at plantbasedonabudget on Instagram, and you can find Michelle at worldofvegan.com or at vegan on Instagram. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys later. Bye. Bye.